Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Super What's up, Mario Galaxy. What's up, Toad? Oh, it's a letter from Peach. Give me the I'm horny. Notes. <laughs> I'm horny. You up? She starts sending like Mario nudes <laughs> through the mail. Through yes. the mail. It's like uh, Link's Awakening. Oh um, yeah, with the fucking uh, the goat. The goat. Yeah. Princess to toadstool like picture. Yeah, I guess this the, explains the why print. Mario. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, just with the with the hut the hoof print signature. Yep. And he, guess, the guy's just like, "Wow, she's so beautiful." I guess this explains why Mario is always saying "wahoo" and shit when he's jumping around. Yeah. Wahoo! He's on his way to get laid. I mean, it's like I said at the very beginning of the let's play. He's uh, gonna get some coochie. Oh, this is new. This is you guys Bet. might remember. Speaking of the beginning of the let's play. This, this is, is the gate. It's Punani. This is the gate. Uh, this is agate. This is not. Uh, well, I mean, it is a gate. A agate. Um, but yeah, we're. Uh, it's the level we started the let's play in. Why? Um, because we have a. Uh, there, there's something we can do here. Now that we've uh, unlocked this little island. But first, planetoid. I want to catch this guy and murder him. This is a planetoid. Eh, planet... Oh, whatever. It was An the, the island opening... would be... Uh, you know... Whoa. Uh, an island would be, you know, landmass surrounded on all sides by water. Uh, that is true. This is a landmass floating in space. Hi, Rosalina. Is she trying to summon Princess Peach to also get that coochie? <laughs> Mario, right. I'd like to propose an idea. Would you like to have a threesome? Nah, yes. Ros Rosalina <laughs> wouldn't be Rosalina wouldn't be that nice to Mario. She would just steal Peach away. Damn. Don't worry. There's always Daisy. Nah, she's Luigi's girl. Maybe they'll let us have a three-way with them. Uh, that would be... I would be into that. Yo, Luigi. <laughs> Yo, Luigi. I have, a, I have a proposition for you. <laughs> I save your ass from getting lost all the time. Um, but yeah, so... Rosalina just gave, like, a heartfelt, like, speech on the Lumas. And hey, look at these purple coins. No. Look at this red star. No. It holds the power of the red lumas. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah. This is a power-up that gives you the ability to completely fly. And anywhere all, you want. All we have to do is collect 100 purple coins? Uh, to get the star for this level, yes. Oh. Oops. Can we just fly whenever we want after we get the purple coins? Uh, unfortunately not. This is a temporary power-up. It's once Dark the, Mario. Once the song is over, then, uh, you have to go get another one. Wow. This game loves its temporary power-ups. It really does, actually. And be Mario. Tr true. Um, to be fair, this, the red star is only available in this level and the overworld. This wow. is the only, like, proper level that utilizes it. Uh, but this is the first of many that we'll be doing later in this Let's Play. Purple Coin Missions, where the goal is to collect 100 purple coins, uh, sometimes with a time limit. Uh, there's no time limit here, thankfully, but... <clears throat> See, it's gone. Wow. Gone forever. Just kidding, we can get another one. But it's easier to get the ones in the ground by just walking around. So, here's a question. What, what's what's your question, Landon? What's the point of this power-up if they only use it for the one? You know, Landon, that is an excellent question. I wish I could tell you. I can understand if they 
utilize it in like I don't know a comet like one of the comets uh, in some of the levels like you had to use this power up I don't know there's an idea to like explore I'm the level. I, I'm, I don't know for sure but I uh, I'm not even sure if the red star appears in Mario Galaxy 2 I don't think it does either because you played that game, right? I I did, and I don't remember it at all from that game. Yeah. So I'm gonna look just in case. Yeah. Because it has been a while. Why is Nintendo like high on their own supply sometimes? <laughs> it certainly feels that way. Um. It'd be like that, unfortunately. Uh, yep. Only Mario Galaxy. Yeah. Like, the first one, specifically. Um... This is like, uh, so we were p streaming... Uh, go watch the... Well, you can't even watch it right now, at time of upload for this, but uh, go watch the... Super Mario Brothers 3 stream, baby! Uh... Cloud and I were talking about this, but uh, the boot is only really used, at least for a platformer, in uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Yep. And that's it. Yeah, there is... And it's literally, a... it's literally only that one level, too. Well, there, I think two there's levels. two levels. Yeah, there's like one more... Yeah. I think there's one level in, like, World 7 that he uses it. Yeah. That's it. So, it's like another instance of that. Now, they have a variant of the boot in... Uh, 3D Mario world, 3D world with yep. the ice skate, but it's not the same. It's not quite the same. It's not the Goomba shoe. Yeah, Karibo shoe. But we said the same thing. Yeah, whatever. We got a red star. Is it any different than a regular power star? No. It's not. <laughs> do you th do you think if Mario had the shoe, he'd be protected from a blue eyes white dragon? Yes. Yes. I choose to believe that. <clears throat> he just hides in the boot and he gets like a fucking white lightning blast, but like comes completely unscathed. The boot saved him. Was well, that, that a was hungry fun. Luma that appeared that, on screen? That is a hungry Luma that appeared on screen, and we're gonna go feed it. Whoa. After. We're gonna take time. a trip. Story time. Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. I've never walked in on this cutscene before. <laughs> Chapter six. Friends. Tomodachi. A tiny apricot colored? I feel like you could use a... You, you could say a different word than apricot. That's like kind of... Pink-ish. Pink-ish. Orange-ish. Yeah, but fruit are way more fun. <laughs> yeah. Nah, apricot's more of like a... Like a pale orange-ish. Yeah. Like a mix I mean, between like a pink and an orange. It's the one on the right. That's why I said pink-ish. My mama. My mama. My mama. Just like that, too. That's what they Just like, like that. My mama. My mama. <laughs> hey, ma! <laughs> There's ma! a weird looking cat outside. That's when something very strange happened. The Loomis started having sex. Oh god, there's so many. And more showed up. They reproduced my mama. asexually through mitosis. <laughs> through my mama. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm waiting. <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting for. Historians say... You said wait a minute. He's still waiting I, until I, this day. I, 
Yeah, I'm still waiting. Wow. Did she really just name all these Lumas? Uh, did she? Uh, That's what she sure, said. probably. Listen. I mean, I mean, she did, but like not on screen. That's okay if she wants to do that. You She's know, their as long mama. As, that's, as long as that's what the loom is wine. Let's How see, many? little Luma. What do you want your name to be? My, My mama. mama. <laughs> <laughs> How many millions old is uh, this gal? No, you know what would be funny is if like one yeah. of the Lumas Pretty old. had like a like a low raspy voice. My mama. My mama. One of them actually just has Wario's voice. <laughs> Why but he, he doesn't say my mama, he just says Wario. <laughs> money. My money. No, see, that's just Mr. Krabs. Money. Yes. One of them is also Mr. Krabs. She has a brother? She just remembered. I want to meet the Luma that's voiced by Squidward. I want to meet Rosalina's hot brother. He's like a pile of bones. No. What if he's What if he's not hot? I don't believe you. Like, what if he's actually, like, the bastard child, black sheep, that, like, is ugly as sin? I don't- I do not believe you. Like me. Like, they gave all of the good genes to Rosalina, and this poor asshole is just cursed with, like, all of the bad ones. I- I- I reject your reality and replace it with my own. But also, uh... Uh, we we kind of joked over it, but uh, she, uh, you know, the original thing was like she ran away to go find her mama, but uh, she's not in space. She's uh, dead. That's a. Uh, that's uh, It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty fucking sad. She was like. I don't know. I don't know if it's like she didn't realize it or she was just in denial about it, but yeah, I, it's pretty I feel sad. Like, I feel like it's probably the latter. Yeah. Like getting separated, she was probably she probably knew, but she didn't want to believe it. She probably like I mean, it's probably like she went to the stars because, you know, that's where heaven is. What? Are you saying is... Jesus Christ exists in the Mario universe? <laughs> I, hey, man, she's, I didn't say that. She's like, uh, Landon, remember that character from uh, The World God Only Knows? It was literally, like, the second girl that came a has to woo, the no. twin-tailed tsundere. She was, like, in denial over her dad being dead. Like, she just refused to accept it and kept treating him like he was alive. Yeah. Like, that's the... That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah. 1,200? Jesus! Yeah. This guy's a fat fuck. Whoops. <laughs> guy's trying to give Snorlax a run for its money. I believe that is the last Hungry Luma in the, the overworld, anyway. In the universe? Boo's Boneyard. Ooh. Maybe we'll use the B power up some more. <laughs> Racing the spooky speedster. Yeah, we're definitely using the B power up. It's him. It's the racing boo. The racing this entire, boo. This entire galaxy is this skull. And bones. And these bones. Them bones. I have this to is ask something the ever that... important question. What? 
Are you gonna put bones in my shed? <laughs> Sir, there are already bones in your poop. Hey! Uh, but anyway. This, uh, oh, what I was going to say was, this is like one of the few levels in the game that's like almost entirely 2D. Uh, and this is something that, uh, Galaxy 2, uh, would do a lot more with. Um, it doesn't have, like, it's not quite Sonic Colors where, like, 80% of the game is 2D, but, like, there's a fair amount of it. I would say, like, probably... 30% of the game is 2D? Damn, Sonic Maybe. couldn't even be unique about its platforming layouts. It's yeah. even, it took even that from Mario Galaxy. Yup. But Mario uh, Galaxy I was like, let's do two D and three D, and Sonic Colors was like bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I could be exaggerating that number, but there is like a fair amount of it in the second game. You almost died. I almost died. And, and the funniest thing, too, is this this game came out even before Sonic Unleashed. So we yep. can't even say that Sonic Unleashed invented this idea. No, yeah. This really do just be Super Mario. Yeah. That helmet must be specially made for him. He had it commissioned. I mean, he is the spooky speedster, after all. Do you think? But how? But how speedy is he truly? If he got beat by Mario twice now, in I this think game? he's faster than uh, Speed Racer. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Speed Racer okay. out of a car and Oh okay, the yeah. Fair <laughs> he never said that Speed Racer was in his car. That's that's fair. But anyway, it's time to finally move on to the next world. This is the garden. We're all super high up. Let's jump off. After walking all the way up here. That'd be fun. Uh, there are only four galaxies in this one, as opposed to the usual five. Oh, but, good. Uh, but this one does not have a... This is the only gal or the only world without a, uh, a boss level. Because we just have the... That's at the center of the... The, uh, the overworld. The ship. Anyway, we got some a few new ones. We got Deep Dark Galaxy, we got Dreadnought Galaxy, we got Melty Molten Galaxy. Okay, from and a distance. Matter Splatter. That Dreadnought Galaxy just looks like a Kingdom Hearts world. <laughs> God damn it. You're a Kingdom Hearts world. Me or Cloud? Cloud. Okay. I would never insult you like that. <laughs> you would insult Cloud like that, though. Yeah. But he won't take it as an insult, so... I will not. Um, He's broken inside, so... Listen, <laughs> one of us has to be into, like, the cringy shit that you should have grown out of after you escaped your teenage years. So it, I guess it's but, gonna be me. But Cloud, we all play Sonic games. He has a point. Bear. What if I got really into Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, oh God. God. You know, honestly, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see the really weird timeline where Landon is just big on FNAF and Fortnite. I think I... I'm going to go kill that Landon. <laughs> just hop over to that timeline and end his entire existence. Yeah. See, that's, that's the timeline... <laughs> That's nice. the timeline where land where KJHG54 survived and defeated KJHG53. Oh fuck. KJHG54 went on to be a big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's and Fortnite. 
gross. Speaking of temporary power-ups, the fire flower is back. Yay. Oh. Do we I'm gonna need start it? A war, I'm gonna start a war between we do. the younger gaming communities on the side of Minecraft. Oh boy. Wow, you almost... Uh, almost didn't, didn't get that, yeah. yeah. Like, that ended just after you lit the other one. I'm gonna kill these crabs. The crabs with the jiggle physics. Hell yeah. Koopa shell. What for? I mean, for swimming, obviously, but... Treasure! <gasps> treasure! How do we get the Dragon Quest treasure? It's just another one up. Oh. Can we sell it for a high price, stranger? I hope so. Oh shit, we missed a crab. <gasps> Murder the crabs. Gotta take care of that. Murder all crabs. Or never mind, I guess I'm ignoring it. Never mind. Save all the crabs. Did you just record this last night? I mean, <laughs> yeah. That toad still fucking dancing. Not giving a shit he's, while you're jumping in the cannon. I'm he's dancing. Still, I'm dancing. He's still he's, spinning. He's, uh, hold on. Let's, let's, let's do you guys want to deflate a planet? Why? I, I don't know. But we just uncorked it, and now it's deflating. What the fuck? Can we do that to the planet Earth? <laughs> That'd be is badass. That, it's just shrinking. That, that yep. toad is like, unbothered, moisturized, happy, in my lane, focused, flourishing. What? What? It's a meme. What? I know, but... What? Those beach chairs have the same color scheme as Fruit Stripes gum. Is that legal? Uh, no. Do you think Nintendo sent uh, Fruit Stripes gum a cease and desist after the release of this game? Uh, probably, probably yes. <laughs> they said... <laughs> I'm put that in the spoilers. They sent it. They sent a cease and desist to the gum after they took the style for their frickin' uh -huh. game. Okay. That's what I said. I, I gotta admit, though, that fucking that situation that came up recently with them going after Dolphin Emulator, like them doubling down on it today was bullshit. That's awesome. I hope they do it more like, often. So, Cause like I, as much as I don't agree with it, I understand what they were going for when they were going after Dolphin because apparently there was like code of theirs found deep within the code of Dolphin. So I mean that would be you know, kind of even though like I don't, I don't really care, but like they doubled down on on it on their like stance today and they were like emulation stifles innovation. I'm like that's bullshit. Fuck out of here! That's that's a lie, and you know it. Let's we'll that figure just out some kind of lie. Just re reissue your fucking games, and then you can complain about emulation. Well, they do. Just not. The problem ones. is, I was gonna say the problem is, is that they're doing it through a streaming service now, which is not infinite. It is finite. It's going to run out one day. And they're also yeah. not even releasing a large chunk of games. That's not all their fault because they don't have they have to ne renegotiate with the companies that make the games for those old systems to make sure that they're okay to put on new platforms. But it's just that that doesn't that, that that saves a very small fraction of games, and it's usually the ones that we already have like a million ways to play anyway. We yeah. just need more compilations, Nintendo. Do it. 
Yeah, like, physical compilations of old video games used to be all the rage. Why can't they just be all the rage again? We still get them every once in a while, just not from Nintendo. I was yeah. gonna say, if you if you want a company that loves to make game compilations, look no further than Sega. I can't yes, tell they you. Do. I can't tell you the amount of times they've got a compilation out on a system with like 30 to 50 plus games of theirs from the Genesis era. It's always the Genesis too. Yeah. It's never Dreamcast. That's the issue is, is they the only issue. they only do that. They perhaps really need to get into. Perhaps re-releases should be a topic that we discuss on a podcast episode in the future. Wow. Mm. Well, I guess so. Wow. I guess we'll shut up now. Talk about something else like uh, more vaginas. Or, I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, well, we were talking about Pe Peach's vagina earlier this episode. Were we not? I don't think we were talking specifically about her vagina. Just her nudes, which implies her vagina. But no, we. I mean, we mentioned. Uh, oh, we did Mario mention her coochie. Yeah, her coochie. True. Mario he's on a he's on a quest for that coochie. Yeah, so we specifically mentioned it. I'm not crazy. I pay attention. Anyway. Oh, there's Hi, more. Hi, folks. Welcome to How Game Messages. This is normal for us. Don't worry about it. It's, it's pretty normal this for really us. This really is. We've been we've been at it for like ten plus years, and we're not stopping. It's been. I know it's been longer. That's why I said ten plus. It's, it's gonna I... be twelve in December. Yep. Plus, it this can... is our sec plus implies it can be any number above that number. It could be a hundred. I don't could think be a hundred. Could even be a boat. It could even be a boat. I mean, we're on a boat. Ah, we got that, there. It's true. We are on a ghost ship. Oh boy. Oh boy, I almost jumped off. Not that it would have killed me, but I would have had to climb back up and that would have been annoying. That would be. Very time consuming process. Remember that one time you guys had fun on a ghost ship? Neither do I. You mean in fucking Man of Medan? Oh, I was talking about uh, her uh, D and D campaign. Oh, that too. But yes, to answer your question. Anyway, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna explore more of the garden. See you then.